new information tonight in an ongoing I-Team investigation into a now defunct home building company in Columbia County. The former owner of that company pleaded not guilty today to criminal charges filed against him in connection with an unfinished home. 2822 News reporter Andy Mahalshek has been working this story for really more than a year now mm -hmm. and joins us live in the studio with the latest developments. Andy. Well, good afternoon, Nick and Candace. Now, the I-Team has been looking into complaints and questions raised by former customers of Vision Home Builders near Berwick. Now, the owner, Jeff McCreary, abruptly closed the company in April of last year. Now, several customers reached out to the I-Team for help, saying they were left financially high and dry when the co company suddenly closed their doors. Now, this is a video of Jeff McCreary as he walked into a district court near Harrisburg last June for a preliminary hearing. Now, McCreary claims he had no choice but to close the company due to large financial problems caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. Customers like Sherry Norris and her partner contacted the I-Team saying they paid McCreary some $155,000 and were left with a floor and some wood-framed walls. Now, Norris, who lives in Dauphin County, contacted police. Charges were filed against McCreary, including theft by deception and the deceptive fraudulent business practices. Well, today, McCreary entered a not guilty plea and will fight the charges in court. I spoke with his attorney, Greg Murrow, about the case. But this is certainly not intentional conduct. I guess that's the, the biggest problem. It, it is, is it civil? Sure. Is it a breach of contract? Probably. But at the end of the day, is it criminal? The answer to that is no. Now, Attorney Greg Morrow says he'll file motions to have the charges dismissed. Now, if not, McCreary could stand trial by the end of the year. I reached out to Norris and her partner. They had no comment other than to say they look forward to seeing McCreary in court. Kenneth and Nick. Andy, thank you.